there are two new joins available to us in Power Query, and I'm gonna whoop those on you today. I'm gonna do an overview of the joins before we get to these two new ones. There is the left semi-join and the right semi-join. We've got these two data sets. We have people who attended and people who registered. We see that Ann attended but did not register, meaning that she was a walk-in. Cheryl attended and registered. Flora registered, did not attend. Flora is a no-show. Let's look at the data this way. We've got everybody who attended, everybody who registered. And we see Cheryl is in both groups. Tina is in both groups. Now, this way. On the left side, we have attended. Everybody who attended, D, J, J, Ted, and down through Tina. People who registered, Flora, Julie, and again, everybody from Ann down through Tina. Now let's look at the inner join. That's everybody who's in both lists. They both registered and then showed up. The left outer join, everybody who attended and if there's a match on the registered side, that match is made. Therefore, we don't have Flora or Julie in the left outer join with attended on the left side. And it's key to understand where a match exists, the match is made. Because now here's the preview of the semi join. We don't want matches made. We're gonna get into that. But let's look at the right outer join. Registered is on the right side. We have everybody who registered. And if they have a match on the attended side, we want those matches made. We're not gonna do the left and right anti-joins. Let's go to the interface. In the Power Query interface, there is no left and right side. There's a top and a bottom. The top is the left side and the bottom is the right side. Now let's look at an example. We've got two data sets. Columns B and C, we have the people who will be attending the fall 2024 workshop on urban livestock. They want to know things like, you know, what <laughs> permits do you need if you want to have backyard goats? Or can you have pigs? How many chickens can you have? And what are the requirements for legally having chickens? And some cities don't allow you to have roosters. They dig into that in this workshop. But now over here, starting in column F, there's another data set. Those were people who attended the Effective Parenting Workshop in summer 2022. We've got their ID, their mode of travel, the name. So Amos attended and he's got children Ambrose and Amy and his favorite planet is Mars and he's in the entertainment industry. The list goes down here. Okay, we've got quite a few people who attended now we see we've got Arturo is coming to the Urban Livestock Workshop. Arturo attended the Effective Parenting Workshop. In that workshop, they learned things like how many consecutive meals can you feed a child porridge for acting a damn fool? There are ways of calculating that and they worked that kind of thing out in the workshop. It was a great thing. Apple is attending the livestock workshop. Apple did not attend the effective parenting. Benito is showing up in the fall and was in the workshop for summer 2022. Let's do an inner join. Here we go. Cursor in a data set, right click, 
Get data from table slash range. The query is named urban. All right. We don't need to do anything with that. So we're going to close and load this as a connection only. Here we go. Only create connection. OK. Next cursor in this data set, right click, get data from table slash range. Here we go. We've got EFP for effective parenting. Close and load to only create connection. OK, now we've got our two queries. The question that a semi join will help us answer. What is the list of people who will be attending the urban livestock workshop? and also attended the effective parenting workshop. And we don't care about all of that data over on, you know, on that data set for the effective parenting. Let's do an inner join data, get data, combine queries, merge. I want urban up top, effective parenting down below, name, name matched up, enter, join, and OK. Now our left side is expanded. The right side is collapsed. The right side is the effective parenting. We click here and we can see all of these column headers. All right, so everything would be matched up using the inner join. I could expand. I don't need the name that would just be repeated and okay. So this is what our inner join will do for us. We don't want that. I want to go here, call this inner. Next, right click, duplicate. I'm going to do a left semi join. I'm going to delete this step and go here, left, semi. Now watch, I'm gonna click here. There is no information because I don't want the information. I just wanna know who's on both, but don't bring all that other information over. So I can delete this, right click, remove, and then close and load. Here is the inner join. It brought all of this information over. It made matches where there were matches to be made, but I did not want the matches to be made. This is what I wanted. Now I know these are the 19 people who are coming to the urban livestock workshop who also attended the effective parenting workshop. And that is what the semi join will do for us. Think about some examples of where you might use a semi-join. See you in the next video.